Browning broke his bat and was outwardly frustrated. So John got the idea to ask Pete if he wanted to go to his father's woodworking shop so that they could make him a customized bat. They selected the material white ash, and with Browning's instructions, John made the bat. The next day, Browning used that bat and went three for three. So then, of course, everyone else wanted a bat just like him, thus the Louisville Slugger Company was born. But don't get me wrong, there's other bats out there. For example, the Spalding Company came out with the mushroom bat, which was supposed to help the weight distribution. There was also the Elijah Way bat that was popularized by Napoleon. No, not that guy. This bat was designed to have one finger placed below the bat knob so that you could have better control. It was made around 1904 from white ash. There was also the ridiculous banana bat that was patented in 1890. However, there were firm restrictions about using these type of bats by the turn of the century. Worth noting, in 2001, Barry Bonds actually repopularized maple bats. Also, since 2006, we have the Pro XR design. That knob is supposed to be better in your hands when you swing through the zone. So if you still could customize your bat, what would it look like? I'm going with lightsaber.